Hello and welcome to this pause for thought in the week after Easter. Well, I hope you had as good an Easter as possible, but it is true enjoyment is best shared and that's been very difficult now. After Easter is always a time of discovery, the discovery of Jesus alive after his death. Today I reflect on the first discovery which took place in a rock garden. When you're hungry, all you can do is think of food. Well, that's what like for me. And if you're thirsty, it's drink. So I'm not surprised that in isolation, I always seem to be thinking about wide open spaces or going to places. Indeed, I'm remembering journeys past. In 1980, we were driving a car through the Great Barrier Reef in the Solomon Islands. Indeed, I'm remembering journeys past. In 1980, we were driving a car. It was just about as big as our present home, it seemed, and we were driving through the southern states of America. We were based in Georgia and were on our way back. The roads were wide and straight, the landscape enormous and the skies huge. And like all the other cars, we kept to the gentle speed limit. I seem to remember it was 55 miles an hour. It was relaxing, but I have to say, not particularly enthralling. And then we began to notice the occasional barn. Some tumble down, others well kept, but with the words in big white lettering on the roof. And they said, See Rock City. We speculated what it might be, perhaps a rock music festival, maybe a community which had gone back to living in caves. And then we saw a sign which said, Rock City is unbelievably beautiful. And we knew we just had to go. Before long, the signs began to be more specific, telling us which route to be on. And we found it very easily. Rock City is in fact a garden on a mountain. Although it's in Georgia, it overlooks Chattanooga in Tennessee famous once at least for the Chattanooga Choo Choo. I do remember the fantastic views. I remember squeezing through rocks and I certainly recall the vertigo inducing cliffs. I begin to reflect now on how simple the message was that got us there. Just three words, sea, rock, city. Simplicity is always the best way of communicating and combine that with repetition and we all know how effective that can be. So from my past, I'm absolutely certain that Guinness is good for you. Today, stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives is a mantra we shall find it difficult to forget in the years to come. In prayer, Communicating with God, learning by repetition, can be a real standby in times of difficulty. And the great spiritual writers also recommend keeping prayers short and direct. For example, God help me is better than a long description of what's wrong, followed by a request, followed by a promise which may or may not be kept. I also recall what John's Gospel tells us. At this time, he says Mary and others went to the rock garden. Unlike us with Rock City, they knew what they would find, but they were astonished by what they discovered. It was not what they expected. Ours is but a pleasant family memory. Theirs was a life-changing experience. When the others left, Mary lingered on in the garden and her discovery changed everything and continues to do so. And the moment of truth actually comes in just one word. Jesus says, Mary. And she responds with just one word, Rabboni. And from that rock garden discovery, 
has come the worldwide celebration of Easter, enjoyed by millions and millions of people over hundreds and hundreds of years. Actually, the present lockdown may well be that we've been brought closer in spirit to the event itself. In that rock garden cemetery, there were no crowds, no jollity. It was private and personal and a bit bewildering. Mary told the others, I have seen the Lord, just three Greek words. And we respond, even in these days, with three English words, Christ is risen. For now that has to be enough, but crowds will be drawn back to that rock garden soon enough. We shall join them, and then we will find it full of meaning and hope. The rock garden is unbelievably beautiful. It is spectacular indeed. <laughs>